And, and how much of the changes uh, that you see in the Arctic, how much of that is caused by anthropogenic global warming? Or, or is that purely natural cycles? We're doing so much, our new government is doing so much to fight global warming and Incredible. set a global example. What I'm saying is that in a colder world, Canada is a harsher place to live. Mm -hmm. In fact, we only go back uh, 14,000 years and Canada was covered with a glacier. Mm -hmm. So Canada didn't have much real estate uh, available at that time. And uh, as, we, as we warm, we can say, well, what about farming? We look to the south, what are they growing down there? Well, we'll grow that here. Mm -hmm. But if it gets colder, what are they growing up north? Not much. So it's not going to improve agriculture. Uh, now, how do you see this in geologic history? And when we turn it around and look at the, the medieval warm period, about a thousand years ago, uh, this was a time when cultural expansion, the Magna Carta was drawn up, you know, human rights and freedoms, growing wine in, in uh, central England and all this. Seemed like a pretty good time back then. And so, if I had my choice, especially as a Canadian, I'll pick global warming any day. You were saying also about Baffin Island and that huge glacier there and the vast moraines that you encountered. Could you tell that story? I did some work on Baffin Island, the Akshuk uh, Pass, and we, quite, a, quite a dramatic pass through the, across Baffin Island and I hiked that with a couple of colleagues for research and uh, our path was always altered because we had to go around these huge mounds, or what we call moraines. During the Little Ice Age, so only two, three hundred years ago, these glaciers were down on the valley floor and a great big uh, moraine was pushed out ahead of them. And so all that has changed in those few, you know, two, three hundred years. A dramatic shift. And, and those would have only grown since the last major ice sheet uh, was there, which covered the entire island and carved out those valleys. So after it retreated, we had the uh, Holocene uh, warm period and then cooling ever since over the last uh, 6,000 years, 7,000 years. And that's when these glaciers came down and developed these huge moraines. Thank you very much, Dr. Clark, and uh, we will see you again on Climate Conversations. For Friends of Science, I'm Michelle Sterling.